there's still a big stigma about people who have problems dealing with things relating to their mind. There's no stigma saying, okay, I have a bad hip or I have, you know, uh, high blood pressure or something. Okay. That's a physical issue. We're kind of a little removed from that, but if it's in the black box of our head and we don't know really as much about the mind or the brain as we do about the body. And then there's some weird thing, like I'm just depressed and I can't get out of bed or I'm, I'm always nervous and I don't know why, or I can't stop, you know, gambling or drinking or shopping or something. Um, there's a shame associated with that, which is really wrongheaded because everyone has unresolved shit. It's just in some people, it's more profound and more problematic and, and is presents more obstacles in their life than other people. But my point is that no one should feel ashamed or embarrassed because of these issues because we're all human and we and and part of maybe one of the definitions of childhood and adolescence is the period during which you get screwed up your job as an adult if you choose to accept it is to get unscrewed up unfortunately most people don't don't have the self awareness to really well one they may not even know what the problem is two even if they do they don't know why it developed and how they have unwittingly managed to maintain the problem. <laughs>